Hello and welcome back. Today's topic is all about participles. In this lesson, I am going to give you complete information about what is a participle and then different types of participles in English language. I will also teach you the uses of participles with examples. You can check out other grammar lessons that I have already made by just clicking on video section from my YouTube channel. You can learn any particular lesson that you want. Now, let's get back to the lesson with the definition of participles. A participle is derived from a verb that is used as an adjective or to form certain verb tenses. For example, the verb follow can be turned into the participles like following and followed. If you would say here that these two are present and past participle form of the verb follow, yes, you are absolutely correct. In English, there are two types of participles, present participle and past participle. Let me explain these in a detailed way starting with present participles. Note down, present participles are formed by adding ing to the base form of the verb, whether the verbs are regular or irregular. It is a word derived from a verb that can be used as an adjective or to form the continuous verb tenses. It is a non-finite verb or verbal adjective. Have a look at the structure base verb plus ing. Like look at some regular verbs enjoy, enjoying, hunt, hunting, open, opening, follow, following and some irregular verbs like begin, beginning, forget, forgetting, run, running, take, taking and many more. See some examples to understand present participle in a much better way. He was reading an interesting story. Here the word interesting is the ing form of the verb interest. It functions like an adjective here because it describes or tells more about a noun story. Hence, interesting is called a present participle here. I have already told earlier that a present participle can be used as an adjective. Now let me give you an example of how present participle is used to form continuous verb tenses. He is going to the movie tonight. Here going is the ing form of the verb go and it is followed by the be verb is. Also, it is not describing any other word here. Hence, the present participle going is used to form continuous verb tenses. Present continuous tense. Present form of be plus present participle. See some more examples. They are helping him. She is drawing her favorite fictional character. He is a fascinating person. They fought a losing battle. In the first two examples, the present participles helping and drawing are used to form continuous verb tenses. As they are followed by the be verbs are and is respectively. And they are not used as describing words here. But in third and fourth one, the participles fascinating and losing are used as adjectives here because they describe more about nouns like person and battle. Now I am sure that you are clear about present participle. Move on to the second type of participle, past participle. It refers to an action that was started and completed 
entirely in the past. Note down, past participles of regular verbs are formed by adding simply ed or d as suffix. Like help, helped, respect, respected. But if the verbs are ended with e, then we just add d to the past participle form. Challenge become challenged. Beck begged and so on. Participles of irregular verbs have several endings like n, any, en and t. They don't follow a specific pattern like be, been, know, known, sit, sat, write, written and many more. Let me tell you the uses. As like present participle, past participle is also used as an adjective to modify a noun or pronoun. Another use is past participles can be used to form perfect verb tenses. Let me show you some examples to understand past participle in a convenient way. He is a respected member of the community. I tried to repair my broken phone. The excited kids ran to the playground. Here, respected is the past participle form of the verb respect and it describes or tells more about a noun member. So, it is used as an adjective. In the same way, broken and excited are the past participle form of the verb break and excite and they describe more about nouns like phone and kids respectively. So these two are also used as an adjective here. Now one more use is as I said earlier, it can also be used to form perfect verb tenses like present perfect, past perfect and future perfect. I have tried hard and succeeded. Here tried is the past participle form of the main verb try and the helping verb have is used before it. Remember has have and had are used to form verb tenses. Here it is used as present perfect tense. Note down the structure of present perfect. Subject plus has or have plus past participle form of the verb. Now if I convert this sentence into past perfect tense, it will be I had tried had and succeeded. So here it is used to form past perfect tense. The structure subject plus had plus past participle form of verb. And in the last example, the plants will have dried before it rains. It is easy for you to say that the past participle dried is used to form future perfect tense. The structure subject plus will or shall plus past participle form of the verb. Okay, now let's take a test to see what you have learned from this lesson. I will give you some questions and you have to put the correct form of the participle and say the use. And your time starts now. Tagore had written the story long ago. The past participle written is used as past perfect tense. Next one. The interested students may submit their names. 
the past participle interested is used as an adjective to describe more about the noun students next we have finished our task it is used as present perfect tense and the last one they have been talking for hours the present participle talking is used as a present perfect continuous tense okay that's it for today i hope you got a lot of information from today's lesson and i'm sure you will make fewer mistakes from today onwards don't forget to download the free pdf of some question and answers related to this lesson from the description below i will see you soon in my next lesson till then do take care stay safe